But first, caught in a shootout, a U.S. Marshal is rushed to the hospital after being hit by gunfire in a Chicago neighborhood. A police canine was also shot in that incident. All this comes after a Chicago police officer was shot yesterday. Let's get all the developments now from Nate Rogers, first at four. Yeah, that's right, Anthony. A very active scene here in the Portage Park neighborhood. A U.S. Marshal spokesperson confirming just in the last 45 minutes that an officer and a U.S. Marshal's um, task force was shot while serving a warrant. This all taking place um, just before 1.30 this afternoon here at Laramie and Belmont. Now, behind the crime tape that you see several restaurants and other businesses located on the street that Marshall and his canine dog struck by bullets as a reported shootout ensued um, between police and two gunmen, again as a warrant was being issued. We're still waiting to learn more specific details from Chicago police on how this incident transpired. We spoke to residents who came outside following the shooting. Take a listen to what one woman had to say. Every time you turn around, there's either shootings and kids getting shot. It's horrible. It's changed so much in the last five years. And, and, and so just last night, uh, an officer, a female officer, was shot in Inglewood. I'm telling you, it's so everywhere. It's You can't let your babies go outside. You know, you can't sit outside. It's okay. And back out here live, detectives appearing to be wrapping up their investigation. That officer and his canine being treated at local um, hospitals. That officer, we're told, was shot in the hand. The U.S. Marshal saying the canine is expected to be okay. We just received word that two gunmen are in custody. That is the latest here in the Portage Park neighborhood. Nate Rogers, Fox 32 Chicago. Nate, thank you for that report.